Yes, my best friend. Yes, people. I hope every single person watching this one is having a great day. So today, I'm going to be going over, in my opinion, well, I know it is. It's it's one of the best scav runs that you can do. So as you can see, we're on Lighthouse. I play Lighthouse Nighttime for scavs as, well, not as many people play it. So there's always more loot. So basically, I'm going to be going over the, the the routes. So if you if you basically if you're spawning down like this edge, this edge here, you want to loot this stash and that under here, and then go that way and then into the village. But if you spawn up, obviously loot the chalets and then do this and then come back down to this extract here. Um, yeah, this this scab run is the scab run that I use to make like quick millions, um, and. It it literally never fails me. Like the only the only way it'd fail is if I get killed. Look at that right there and then. We've got a helmet and SJ6 and the dry fuel. We're already off to a good start. So I take note of the the spawns that I'm looking at here. Look, that's a thermite and a hose. So what we at there like maybe 60k, 100k, 170k, 200k. Mate, we're already at like 250k, and I've literally been in the raid about fucking 20 seconds. So, then I like to I like to loot inside this little broken down carriage. As there's loot spawns on the floor here, like that propane. I'm not going to take that because I don't have many slots. Um, and this jacket, and then on these shelves, there's good spawns as well. Let's see what we get here? Nothing. So then I like to take it straight over here, over these rocks. And then I like to loot the uh, broken wooden crates on the floor. As they've always got, well not always, but you get you get good loot in them. You can get really good loot in them. I've got this habit at the moment as well to keep inspecting my gun. I don't know why. How, many time, how much time is left? So there's 29 minutes left, so I know that... They could be PMCs, but they could not be PMCs. All right, so there you go. Th thermometer. Then check it inside the floor as well. Easy money, boys. Easy money. Inside this one here. It's a tube. Nothing else. Put that there. And then this one here. I hope you guys can see all right as well. The night time really helps... Um, being able to avoid PMCs and gunfights and all sorts. So then I like to come around here, and there's a little box here on the floor next to this truck that can spawn decent loot. So loot can spawn on the side here, and then around the front, and then inside this box. Nothing there this time. So then I like to come over to here, check this toolbox. Oh, we'll take our bolts. Yeah, I don't take nails normally. I just heard someone to my right. Probably up there. But then on top of this box here, they can get a spawn and down here. And inside these boxes. Nothing else. Take a jump over here. And then onto the blue car. And then in this grass, in between each vehicle, loot can spawn. No loot today. Um, weapon attachments spawn there. Nothing, nothing decent today. Go come over into this bag. Take a note to what items I'm picking up as well, because these every item I pick up, most of them will quick sell straight away for the similar price to what's on the flea. All right. So before you start running across this road, I'm gonna check all this stuff here, but I make sure that you get full stamina because if you get into a situation where you need to run and you need to be able to run alright so stuff spawns on here yeah grab that nothing else on here repellent don't want that and then onto the next boxes try to manage your stamina as well don't want that I like to come up on top of these boxes and run across like that 
get across, keep checking, keep see if you can see any any rats. And get across here. Take a quick prone, gain your stamina back faster. And we're going into the Giga Chad building. Make sure I'm gonna I'm gonna go to path to shoreline as well. That's the extract that I'm going to. You can you can kind of tell what extracts you're gonna have by where you spawn because it's just usually the other side. You can get a good loot spawn on that table there. Into this building, this building can get really good loot. So we'll go into this back corner over here, into this box. Loot uh, like graphics cards and stuff can spawn in there. All right, you can get condensed milk spawn in there on, on this table, and you can get food and drink in there if you need it. Um, nothing else. Right, there's a bag in here there. All right, so you can get like sugar and stuff to spawn here and golden loot spawn on top of that bed as well, like their chains and that. Golden loot there, like roosters and stuff. I'm currently looking for a fuel conditioner for my task. For some reason, I can't find the last one. Bit of a nightmare. Alright, golden loot spawn there. And you can get stims and golden loot there. <sighs> so, drink me coffee. I'm not sure if I looted that jacket. I did. Make sure you loot these two jackets here as well. I found uh, Dom's marked room key in one of these jackets before. Rat cola, money. Alright, golden loot and intel spawn on the corner of that desk there. I can hear someone messing around with a gun. I'm hoping it's a scav. I think it is. Alright, straight out, hopefully it is a scav. Um, into this little shack thing here. Spawns on the floor here. Nothing today. And in this toolbox. It says toolbox up here. Someone's already looted this. Check this toolbox. This has already been looted. Nothing there, there's a spawn on that table, on these shelves, in this floor here, and on that box there. That looks like it's already been looted there. Can get um, some cool spawns in that toilet as well, just where that is there. Don't want that today. Alright, and you come up here, and you want to come into here. Loot can spawn inside these boxes, you see that? Nuts on the floor that you can't see. And then there's loot there and loot on that table. And you can get loot on that box and loot on that table there. Got a bit unlucky as it's it's been looted, but I'm still doing alright so far. See if you're on your PMC, that's the hillside house key door there. If you fancy. Getting some more loot. This has actually been opened, which is not, not a usual thing. You can get loot in the sp spots that I'm looking. Across there, on the floor here, and on this table, and in this little thing here. Moving across here. Open this. It's all been looted. Awesome. Open this, hopefully this hasn't been looted. You can get the spawns on there, toolbox here. Looks like it's, I don't know. I don't really want to take that, but I'm just gonna take it for now. Actually, now I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> All right, I'll show you a spot in here, which somebody on my channel actually showed me. There where that uh, uh, circuit board is there, that, uh, graphics cards can spawn there. Haven't seen it with my own eyes, but this bag, nothing else. 
All right, then I'm actually. I usually go straight into that building there, but I'm gonna come over here and loot this little toolbox on the floor. As you, spawns can spawn around the toolbox and obviously inside the toolbox. Notes, plexiglass. Plexiglass isn't much money, but it's better than neat. Come into here, jump across, and then there's spawn on this floor here that you, usually nobody finds. Toolbox. Nothing on that table. You can get drinks and vodka and stuff. Alright, on this floor here, you can get a graphics card. Nothing else. Alright, spawn there, spawn there, spawn there, spawn there, and spawns on the table. Nothing today. Not the best. We haven't got the best of loots this run, but we're still doing alright. We've still got four, five hundred k worth of loot. Alright, so we'll have a jacket here. Nothing. You can get loot on the shelves, loot on the back table. You can actually get some loot on the floor. And the toolbox. You can get moonshines on that bench there. Always keep an eye out for it. And I'll run across the back way into this garden here. Alright, you can get a loot there. And we want some out of this toolbox. It's all been looted. This is an absolute shambles. You can get loot on the floor here. On that bench or stool. Yep. Not so. So what would I I would do now is because I'm not full, I haven't got full backpack and stuff. What I'm gonna do is instead of just leaving straight away from the path to shoreline, I'll make sure that I've got a Southern Road landslide, or even I don't know what other. Let's have a look. Have I got Southern Road? No. So what I would do is. And in this situation, I'm going to go up to the chalets and I'm going to come back to Path to Shoreline just to fill my bags. Make as much money as possible out of the scav raid. It's lucky, well, there's only 18 minutes left, so the chance that we run into PMCs up here this late in the raid is pretty low and it'd be pretty unlucky if to run into a, into, to run into chads at this time. If we do, we do. It's only a scav. We're in the scav to make money. We're in the scav to try and get stuff that we don't have. So I'm looking for a fuel conditioner as well. I'd love to find one, but probably not gonna. <laughs> right, so you can we'll just come straight down here. Start at the boathouse, show you some little spots. Oh not boathouse, uh kitchen. Kitchen room or something. I don't know. Alright, so we can get um, spawns on there, spawn on there, and there's some secret spawns in the floor here. Nothing to do in there. Trying to, trying to be fast, trying to keep it fast but precise with the loot. There's a little body here I'm sure that you know about, which can spawn good loot. What have we got? What do we got? What do we got? I'll take that. Come on, I'll be an F-Cond. Ooh, that's good. Money. That's what we're here for. Alright, so coming to the back entrance of the bottom chalet here. So, may as well go through it all fast. So you come into here, there's a body on the floor here. Can spawn good ammo, SS190, pistol. Alright, 
a grenade case here or, or weapon ammo box even. We'll come across, open the green one. We pistol suppressor, I mean suppressor, money. Over here into the other green one. Looking good. Pull a gun. Yep. MCX. The money's racking up. Come across here. They loot this black crate. Can get. What is that? I don't know. I can't tell what ammo that is from here. US, we don't want that, but you can get good scopes and stuff on there. Augment in there. Check into this room, you can get stims, mule, if you're very lucky. Right, so these golden loot spawns in this corner here and on this all this shelf and Whatever it is, you can get good drinks and stuff on there as well. This spawn, I'm sure that everybody knows about by now, is in that in that box there. Get something on the edge of that white thing there. It doesn't look like this has been looted, you know, so we're alright. Yeah, so you can get loot spawn down here for decent stuff. On there, you can get the weapon and body armor repair kits. Check in here now. Come across, loot the, loot the box. It's full. They're my favourite glasses. They're the best ones to wear. Oh my god, an OFC. Another suppressor. That's actually a really good attachment as well for the shotguns. So you can get some spawns on the floor here. Just make sure you keep an eye out for it. Bolts, so I'm full now. So what I'm gonna do is to keep it as short as possible. I'm just gonna eliminate something here. Eliminate that. Get the cola. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna run back to the path to shoreline. You can go up to that, obviously, to that chalet as well. If you're really looking for, I don't know, vertexes or something. This is the best map for them. So yeah, I'm just gonna head over to the path to shoreline now. I'll see you at the extract. We're just coming to the Path to Shoreline extract now. I'm not sure if I have the right strength for this, but this is a big shortcut if you can land the jump. Yeah, jump straight over there. Save yourself a lot of time. And it's a good way to get away from people if you're running. And then jump over here. Click close to the fence so nobody can see you. Steady. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button because you're awesome. And I hope you carry on having the best day possible. See you later, guys. This is a loop, by the way.